Hey guys, this video is going to be assault rifle running around on Afghan. Now I've done a sniping video on Afghan and so I'm going to do assault rifle. I prefer sniping on Afghan actually. And there's a lot of noobs going around doing that stupid care package glitch so I've created a special class just for them. And I've gone with the M4 red dart with the best camo I can find, you know, just a generic assault rifle. Secondary weapon. I'm going to put the javelin on so I can take down their air support. Now for the first perk you're going to need scavenger to get more rockets. Secondly I want cold blooded so I don't get seen by the air support and then I'm going with steady aim. Steady aim is good because you can shoot from the hip and it makes the gun more accurate so at a pinch I can kind of use it as an SMG machine pistol sort of secondary weapon and I have to give it an appropriate name so I'm going to call it the care package noob. Buggerer so that I can bugger any noob that uses that stupid care package glitch. Anyone who does that care package glitch, stop watching my videos because you're not worthy. Right. Now I'm just gonna play the game. So Afghan assault tactics. Sort of it's a big map, so you don't have to stay around the edge. You can actually go in the middle, try and avoid the cave area because it's not the best place to go because there's a lot of hiding places they can jump out you but that doesn't mean steer clear of it no matter what there is appropriate situations where you can throw a flashbang in get in there kill someone but generally saying don't just sign the cave now as soon as the game started i heard a little pubescent child talking so i had to mute everyone right when i when i spawn on this side i like to come right up to this end of the plane it's quite popular as you see he's pushing me away if not, I'm just going to run forward towards the enemy, and they have to teabag this guy because he was hiding there just to kill someone like me running along, and he failed, so I had to teabag him. And then, from the cockpit, yeah, grab another kill, and I didn't know how, because that's where the, the enemy spawns, so I got a kill, ducks back straight away, so that um, I didn't know if there was anyone there, I was just making sure in case they were shooting at me, I ducked. Turns out there wasn't, so I'm okay. Now, like I said, don't avoid the cave all cast because I followed my own teammate in there. He, If it wasn't, anyone was in there, they would have shot him first. So that was okay, I followed him. I saw someone die around here, so I'm going to go for it. Again, let my teammate go first and get the kill. But I can't work out where he's from and someone's hiding in the rocks. Like I said, there's too much, someone just ambushed me. So perhaps I shouldn't have just ran in the cave and gone all the way around. So right now I decided that Okay, that's where the enemy is. I'm not going to go through the cave again. I'm actually going to go round, and it paid off quite well. So I managed to get a kill right there. Now I can see that they have UAV, and I can also... We have UAV, and everyone knows each of us there, so it's just throwing stun grenades, and they're chucking them at me as well. Luckily, they missed the first one. Second one, I've just ducked down and thrown one back blindly, hoping that... If some, they know they flash me, they're going to come running at me and I would stun, I couldn't have protected myself, so I just threw a stun grenade back at them, try and slow them down as well. But someone must have killed them and my teammates run in. All of them seem to want to run in. So there's no point just following your own team around, because you're going to be fighting for kills and you're going to end up getting unnecessary deaths and losing out on kills, so I've decided I'll go around on my own. I'm giving the cave a wide berth because of what happened last time. Now, here's a good example. Pick your own fights. Don't just shoot someone because you saw them. I saw him. I was deciding whether or not to shoot him because it was hard shot. But in the end, I just I went for a quick one when he stood still. Didn't get him. So that's it. So now I'm going to run. I'm going to follow around the edge of the map at the moment. Try and come from the other side and hit them. So this is a nice little spot to hide in, because from even though if the enemy knows you're in this spot from where I just killed them, it's really hard to shoot you. So it's a good spot for camping. Not that I'm going to be doing any. Like my predator missiles, I always fail with the harriers as well. So I just guess first place. Don't want to be stood in this cave, to, this little hiding spot too long. Right. Bad thing about camping is people know that where you are and they're going to come straight for me and shoot them. So I got a couple of kills and I'm moving on. I 
all it takes is to kill one person, they know exactly where you are and they can just come round you, so... I got a kill, got another one, and now I'm moving on round the side. This guy got me, so... To avoid that, I probably shouldn't have run out, I probably should have checked first, been a bit more careful, but... I just assumed that there was no one there and he caught me. So now my teammate's all at the top of the cliff, which is where I was heading. I'm going to go turn around and go back. Again, don't stick with your own teammates. They're called teammates, but they just drag you down, I find. Lone Wolf is better. Then again, I'm just playing with random people online. If you're actually playing with friends, it's it's much better to go with a team. Again, I'm just throwing Semtex around because I'm like quite addicted to doing that. I'm not just blindly throwing them, they're sort of educated guesses, but I'm still just chucking them when I feel like it. And I also like throwing flashbangs, they're really good, and stun grenades. You just throw them around the corner where you suspect there's someone, and it tells you if there is or there isn't, and if there is, you then have massive advantage, but don't rely on them. Don't chuck one and get an X and then think, oh, this is alright, I can just run and get the kill, because often, if they're looking around the corner, it doesn't blind them, it just stuns them, make them sit still. They can still just shoot back at you anyway, and then also it's a bit of a double-edged sword because it's warning them that you're about to come. So, don't just assume that you're invincible because you've thrown a flashbang around the corner. My UV is pointing down this way again, an educated nade throw, but didn't get any this time. Doesn't matter. Now I was deciding which way to go because both ways are dangerous, through the cave is pretty dangerous and then also around the rocks is as well because they can, they are, the enemy has like the arc and the advantage. So I was waiting for all my teammates to get there before I went in. Alright, another one, if you're getting shot and you become in a firefight, duck, just duck. Or if you can, try and get to a bit of cover. The nearest cover to me was like a one foot high wall. So I just ducked and tried to use that as best as I could. And then my teammate, my team wins. I got 19-3, which is five and a half times the kills, which is an impressive kill death ratio. One person did better than me, but he had way more deaths. So in end, I did better than him. And um, the more observant of you would notice the intro and end tro. At the end, it's Battle Strats, brilliant website. I urge you all to check it out. It's got full of tactics. Go on.